Cody Wilkinson, uh, product specialist with John Deere. I'm happy to talk to you today about the 76 foot 1870 for John Deere. This really builds on a lot of the experience we've had over the last few years with the 40 and the 56 foot. But really from ground up this is all 100% John Deere engineered. Uh, not only did we go wider, uh, but we have a lot of additional features that we can talk about. Um, first of all, uh, our all new TrueSet uh, depth and pressure control system allows an operator from inside the cab to go to a predetermined or pre-desired uh, depth. Again, with an 1870, our fertilizer tips uh, are adjusted with our mainframe. So if we want to go, like say for example, three and a half inches deep in the ground, uh, you can preset that and one click of the SCV uh, will get you there. If you want to change uh, depth from that, you can flick the uh, SCV up or down and you can set uh, the incremental number, whether that's a half an inch or a full inch, uh, you can, you as an operator know exactly how much you're changing your depth that way. So with the 1870, uh, we can independently adjust fertilizer trip pressure uh, as well as pack wheel pressure with these two cylinders on the opener. And with TrueSet as a feature now, instead of manually opening a valve and adjusting for that, uh, you can do that inside the cab with the push of a button. So if I want to soften my trip pressure for rocks, let's say, or increase my pack pressure, uh, I can do that uh, incrementally from inside the cab. Another nice feature of 1870s and the way they work in that system is we have accumulators so we're holding charge pressure all the time. Uh, you're not drawing a lot of oil in and out uh, of the tractor in order to make those changes. Another change on the 1870 is with our blockage system, which you can see behind me. Uh, we offer uh, primary blockage as well as all run. So that stays the same as it's always been, but one incremental change is now we can show relative blockage or flow differential between our towers, as well as on a standalone tower, our secondary lines, you can see flow rate um, variance between all those lines. Back to the frame of the 1870, a couple things we looked at was the ability to follow the ground as well as residue flow. So we stretched the frame a little deeper in order to flow uh, more residue without sacrificing uh, ground following. Uh, another thing we did on the front end of the 1870, 1870 is we added a floating front hitch. So that helps us uh, in and up the hills uh, with again the ability to kind of roll those or follow the ground. So another change on our 1870s this year is a change on our seed tubes. So before we had a bracket uh, and a bolt that kind of uh, clamped that seed tube in place, we've now changed that to go, uh, we've went to a cam system. So this silver latch here uh, allows an operator to roll that up, uh, break that, and then they can slide the uh, seed tube here up and down, uh, whereas before we had the clamp and a bolt kind of holding that in place. For more information on John Deere 1870s, of course, we have uh, information out online, or of course, go see your John Deere dealer. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.